Good morning guys and welcome to yet another Saturday vlog. Joining me today is my lovely Rachel. We are here with our favourite place in central Bedfordshire. The UK's biggest, far biggest zoo, that is ZSL Whipsnade. Uh, it's more of a safari park to be honest with you. There is plenty of room. You could have even got a little area with the deers over the back there that you can drive through. But we are here the week before Easter due to the fact that there are a lot of little babies about. So. We're going to go and see if we can see any of those, whether the nursing with their mothers, etc. And uh, just have a generally good day, so please come and join us. Any of you guys remember Rod Hull and Emu? Well that is your actual real life bird. Very inquisitive, lovely big eyes. Hi there. Probably going to be about another week and they'll be out in their paddock again as opposed to being in the sand pit. But it's kept them clean and safe through the winter. The other guys over to the side here, what appears to be a keeper training for the day course. Taking the youngsters out, showing them what it's like to be a keeper, how to feed and do husbandry training with the animals. <laughs> and that right there will be Nang, the little baby, with her mother, Donna, who myself I remember as a little tiny little baby many years ago. And Donna's actually always been my favourite of the elephants. There is young Tsar exploring his new adventure playground. Hopefully at some point soon in the near future they will introduce a mate for him and we'll have more cubs as he himself was part of three brothers. They have moved on and will be growing the population. Seems to be like a game of peekaboo. The bears are out in their pen and the keepers the other side which is also their paddock. So I bet they're wondering what the heck is going on. But they are stunning. Beautiful characters. Sorry about the wind guys, we're getting storm rolling through time after time here. But I'll do the best I can. I'm mean, gonna have to remember these bears' names. I remember the originals which was Wendy. Winslow and I believe it was Waterloo. Then you had the three bears after that, which was Cinderella, Snow White and Sleeping Beauty, of which Cinderella is still about. And then they have the three new ones, which have come over from Europe last year. Would you go in there and give them a cuddle? They look cute, but they rip you apart. One over the back having a bit of a snooze. Come around here. He said there is four of them now. I believe all of these three here are the youngsters that come last year. Oh my god! Where? 
pretty much close to the action down here. One great big ball of fluff. There you go, I never judge a book by its cover. Not so much a cute little wolverine to rip something apart, that's for sure. Always check on the old wallabies to see if there's a joey or two about. Not really sure to be honest with you. They'd be well guarded in any case, but I'm now on my way to see if I can see one of the zoo's latest additions, which is a baby white rhino. Beautiful colours here on these bongos. Like a type of gazelle. Where we are going is in there. I can see people in there already, so how much footage I'll get probably be pretty noisy as well, guys. But if we get a glimpse, you should see these crystal blue eyes of the little baby rhino. So, this is your latest addition. I have just asked, and he's a little baby boy. having a bit of a kip at the moment just sleeping there quite happily with proud mum next to him obviously the last baby here was Nandy these are your southern white rhinos there's only two northern white rhinos left and unfortunately they're both female so whether they interbreed, to try and save the species. A little bit of fidgeting going on there. He is so tiny and fragile, yet he's still going to be somewhere in the region of 20 stone. Question is, what do baby winos dream about? Oh, and someone's up. Hi there, little fella. Welcome to the world. It is a tad blustery up here in the lookout, but that is what our baby rhino who is currently with his mum will end up looking like. In there with a herd in with the gem socks, gazelle, oryx type creatures. Giraffes with their heads out of the paddock, and you can see the distinctive difference in height there from what was Baby Wilfred. 
to possibly his mum and dad. I said, starting off age wise at birth, they're about six foot and they grow up to 16 feet. Additions to your babies here at Whipsnade. We've had a load of what they be kits, little baby meerkats. Just a shame there really is a bad shadow effect where they're in the sun, but they are real cuties as well. Oh. Yeah, so look at that skull to the side. Reminds me of some of the urbex I've been doing recently. The large big cats, the lions, the male there. He's still a youngster. One day I had a big fluffy mane. And the female, one of the females in the background there. Lions or lie downs as we call them because of their name. They sleep a good 21 hours a day. Just like that, he's back to sleep again. What a life. In this game, timing is pretty much everything. And it looks as if, well it doesn't look as if, it just shows you pretty much right directly in front of you. The hippos are out for a stroll. And they may even go for a dip later. Won't hang around for that, but it's good to see them in fuel fuel full view spit me teeth out again generally you go inside with a god-awful smell and it's basically a hippo soup as they're laying with just basically their nostrils for short periods of time above the water the rest of the time they'll be hunkering down having a nap maybe a play fight but they are huge and the most dangerous creature I believe that hangs around the waterways in Africa etc is not so much a crocodile these are known to attack man quite regularly so those are your common hippos these are your pygmy hippos not even quite a subspecies I think they're a different breed altogether themselves and they have a little walkway if I pan out from where the little pygmy hippo is there and it goes under the bridge there around the back and into the enclosure there and they've got their own little swimming area and they do have use of the little pond down the side here as well which is currently frequented by ducks time to add just a little bit of vibrant colour to the vlog with our dear old friends the Caribbean flamingos one little baby at the back there more grey and brown in colour I see as we pan past but this is what the full grown ones end up with colour wise with everything coming from what they eat kind of makes you think if they get strawberries all day long would they be pink as opposed to orange here you go right at the back there hands in the one that's very dull in color a little bit of pink around his neck and that is a baby the big news for those of you coming during the half term the Easter era this area will be open to the general public then the new monkey exhibit with I think he's got macaws macaques macaques I think like they're black or so I know about um, but this area I believe is open currently 
to gold members of the zoo. We're silver, so we don't quite make it. I don't mind so much. Gives those who pay that little bit extra on their membership a little bit of an extra treat. I think there's a slight difference in price of about maybe 50 pounds, 70 pounds a year. But we're happy with what we got. We come in here 12 plus times a year, so it's basically really cheap for us. And it makes sense getting a membership. And we get to show it for you guys as well. But that'll be possibly either your entrance or your exit. You'll follow the path all the way around through the wooded area at the back there. And there used to be an enclosure which had sloth bears. Now sloth bears, if you know the jungle book, Baloo was a sloth bear. Looks nothing like Baloo. They're like a, a shaggy black bear. Sort of very raggedy looking with long claws etc. They used to have an enclosure over the back there, lanky etc but um, they've since moved on. Walk past from above to see a better view of Zar's new enclosure. He is just down the bottom there having a kip. If you look under the little platform at the bottom, he's just having a little doze down there. But at some point, As I said, he will have a mate in here and uh, they'll be able to frequent this place, produce cubs and it's like a circle of life. They get moved on all over the country, all over the world to other exhibits, other in habitats that need them and keep the population going. Sometimes you have to forgive the name because I dare say it has some sort of different meaning, probably farmers, etc. But these are domestic yaks, like a large fluffy cow. And when I think domestic, I think of cats and dogs. I certainly would not want one of them in my front room. They are huge. Now you've seen the southern white rhinos. This is the Asian black rhino. This huge armor plated guy. Looks very, very prehistoric. But very, very placid. There are a few of them here. They have a large paddock area at the back. But how cool is he? If that is a he, of course. Almost like a triceratops. You know what, maybe that's what they ended up becoming. You look at the definition there, and like the flanges at the side of the head. You imagine a, a ridged area there with like the horns coming around the side and two great ones coming out where the ears are, and that would pretty much be a smaller version of a triceratops. These creatures years ago is where your legend of your unicorns come from. Someone sees a creature in the forest with a horn, which would have been these probably, and your mythical creature is born. A couple of your free roaming Mara just sitting here on the curb. Kind of on a last lap catch up now, see if the animals are doing anything different from what they were before. It's been a weird day, dodging storms left, right and centre. It's like it's become a birthday or Christmas day for the bears right now. Got themselves a few snacks. Pretty much just shredding that box, it's probably full of peanut butter, berries, Grapes, a bit of fruit, etc. Yeah, 
Look at the batteries. This those dust rolling on the Not the crystal blue eyes like Andy had, but super cute. Almost like an oversized dog. Real little heartbreaker right now. And the thing is, at that age, they gallop. He will bounce around this pen. Hi there. Obviously, too early to have a name as yet. Don't take too much notice of that. I think he's dirty. That's natural for them to drink the urine of their mother. He's got all the enzymes, etc., which will help them going forward. So we have proud mum right there. And our newest addition, this bouncing bundle of joy.
just briefly catch up with our African wild hunting dogs. They're keeping themselves away in the woods over the back there. But they might come into view. No, nope, they're sitting down. Probably because they're pretty much trying to stay out of the rain like everybody else. <laughs> Yeah, they're trying to keep themselves dry. The Asian small claw dot was there, now a family of seven. You see keepers in there actually feeding them. I think they're probably getting prawns and shrimps, etc. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. It's been a real privilege today to show you, obviously, the main draw, which was the baby white rhino, the baby meerkats as well, a few others littered around the park. Rachel's gone off to get a coffee. And with that, guys, enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's been a bit stormy today, but we've still managed to get what we wanted. Was here pretty much for the spring babies. Seen the majority of them. The monkey exhibit will open, as I said, Easter weekend for those of you who want to come down and visit. We'll be back next month and see that ourselves when it's got a little bit more quiet so I can show you a bit more in depth. And anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you in the movie. So will Rachel. Bye for now.